All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to. <clears throat> all praises, honor, and glory to. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhab, Kwadash. Yahweh's name, Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name, Ba'in, Hadda, Sham, name. Yahweh Shai's name, Lord God, Son. And Racha, <coughs> Racha, Kwadash means Holy Spirit. Literally translated, Spirit Holy. Racha, Spirit, Kwadash, Holy. All right, and you see it on the screen, man. This is this damn vexation. This place simply has to go, man. This place has to fucking go, man. This is just a video, uh, sign and crying, man. We we'll, we'll see what precepts, you know, what scriptures the, the spirit wants to come out, man. But this is the norm here, man. This. I guess it's a natural, actual woman. I don't fucking know. They be switching and shit. Who knows? But anyway, it's happy to her students is learning about being able to change roles, man. All right? This is why the Bible tells you, you know, to take evil out the world. All right? This is why the Bible tells you to take evil out of the world. In fact, let me. Ah. This is the. Ah. See fear. Let me type that see fear. This way, so I can't remember the word, and you know, sometimes you can think of a precept that goes with it. I'm gonna hit that cross reference. Yeah, I'll do this one. Maybe this will take me to it. This is the point. Now, this is totally different because this is the same word to death, but it's the same uh, tenor, you know, it's the same sound. First Timothy 5 and 20, them that sin be before all. The others also may fear. And in the law, it touches on that. Okay. Now, which one is the right one? Thirteen, eleven, seventeen, thirteen, nineteen, twenty. Nineteen, twenty. This is good. When it's Deuteronomy 17. And verse um, 11. According to the sentence of the law which they shall teach thee, and according to the judgment which they shall tell thee, thou shalt do, thou shalt not decline from the sentence which they shall show thee, to the right hand, nor to the left. And the man that will do presumptuously and will not hearken to the priest that standeth to minister there before the Lord, thy power unto the judge, even that man shall die, and thou shalt put away the evil from Israel, and all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presumptuously. All right, so this is why it's important that wickedness is addressed, not allowed, not promoted as... <laughs> Especially not promoted, man. But this is why it must be addressed speedily so others won't learn the damn same wickedness and think it's okay. It went from <laughs> they just want some rights, right? They want to be able to get so called quote unquote married, right? 
they are oppressed people. Now, they since Monkey Boy especially, but even before that, they had proper rate for years, man. Decades. Nobody was going there antagonizing them. Nobody was going up there, do, you know, doing anything to these dudes and chicks, whatever, right? And it got to the point they even was able to get so-called married. And they still claiming all this, this oppressed, this oppressed, that. But now they're reaching a, you see her doing a happy dance, not because she finally can do what the hell she want to do, but because now they can poison other people, especially the children. She's happy to be able to poison your children. That's the problem with wickedness. A wicked motherfucker is not okay with just being wicked, especially that depth of wickedness. They want others to join in, man. That's why it's important to, to, well, we can't do what should be done. That's why it's important to not allow the shit and speak against it. We see how that great seed has increased. Let me pour these up so I don't forget. This is second Ezra's four and thirty. For the grain of evil seed hath been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning. And how much ungodliness hath been brought up until this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? Adam's sin started, which is still great, you know. It's a great sin, but it started with him simply. Listening to his woman and disobeying an order from the Lord. One order. And look how much wickedness is entered into the earth off this one order. Imagine the sin that's worthy of death that we know about. The, 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 the manner of wickedness that it is. And it's been not only allowed, it's been promoted. Imagine how much evil comes with that. And that's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing right now, man. And the you gotta understand, the child is a damn sponge. All right, and not only is a child a sponge, it's a it's it's a it's a flesh it's a flesh sponge. So it comes out the womb knowing flesh, what figuring out what feels good, what makes you happy. And only one in those things. No matter if wickedness is involved. Hell, it's, in fact, it comes out wicked. Because it's flesh. And then to show and promote and teach wickedness, only it only increases it, man. A child is already, what to say, about foolishness is bound the heart of a child. So a child is already fucking foolish. So you showing them this madness, of course they're going to eat it up, man. They don't know no fucking better. And that's the world, and this shit can't go on for longer, man. The whole damn next two generations will be sodomites, man. At this rate, this is normal now. Motherfuckers be d d plagued up, man, diseased up. Fucking madness. Ponder now, ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed has brought forth. So look how much wickedness comes from one evil seed. So imagine this, this shit that we're dealing with, man, that's being promoted every fucking way. Imagine, just look at how it increased over our lifetimes. I mean, it's like <laughs> over our lifetime. This one life right here. Growing up, we knew it was something off about it. You know, just even in the world, you know, like, nah, this ain't right. But these days, this is what's, this is the normal. What women on women is normal. It's hyped up. It's. It's praised. It's sexy. 
is expected. Went a long way from, you know, Madonna and Britney Spears, I think it was, kissing on stage, which is the shock. You know, people were shocked at it, like, wow. Then you had the motherfuckers that was just so turned on by it, I guess. To today, this is just regular. To the point where your daughter first orgasm is going is is in this world it'd be with another fucking woman, man, another young female. The brother was talking about the video is trending. I ain't you know come across it, not trying to come across it. I don't even be on uh, I guess it was Facebook. But um, you know back in the day you have to worry about back well. You couldn't go to your the, the girl's house and she had male company because they expected the shit, you know, what a man and woman to do, you know, even if they're young. Nowadays, these young bitches are doing this shit, recording it. The brother explained the video. Apparently, the mother came, was talking to him, and she talking like, no, we're not doing it, but she's recording the whole time them doing sexual acts with each other, man. That's the world we in. Well, your son first... Time or anything like that to be with, with somebody on his damn baseball team, man. Because that's normal. In this world, that's crazy, man. You got trans kids. A child don't fucking... Man, most kids... Bro, a child grow up telling they want to be a damn vampire when they grow up. A damn astronaut when they grow up. How do they know what the fuck they want to be a, a, a quote change genders unquote man? How the fuck are they gonna tell? How they gonna decide something like that man? This place is fucking crazy. But look how quick this shit went from sodomy is no longer a mental condition, which we know. We leave up to the sixties, seventies. It was classified as a mental condition. <clears throat> then they got let loose. All right. Then that shame slow went away. You got grown men that defend Prince right now. Everybody knows he's a fucking sodomite, but because he also fucked bitches, he had that. He's dumb, he still was a sodomite, man. Sodomites hang with whores the most. You see a whore, you're gonna see a sodomite or two. You don't believe me? Go to Sukiyana's fucking Instagram page. By the time you get to the second video, I guarantee you're going to see some sodomites that would have turn it up. They go hand to hand. It went from. Look how quick it went from mental condition classification. Today just want equal rights. Today was free to do whatever. This is all over the place. You couldn't not you could not not hear about it. They got their own damn parade, their own month. Then the so called marriage. Now look, they still going. What the kids got to do with it? You got everything you wanted, right? No, because it was never about that. This is America. They was already doing what the fuck they wanted to do, man. It's about producing more wickedness. Esau really is the devil. Alright? That really is a man that rules over sin. Oh man. <coughs> Genesis 4 and 7. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, sin lies at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And that man that ruled over sin is back. That man is Edom. All right, he is Cain reincarnate. The son of perdition, the wicked one. That second Thessalonians, the second chapter, which Malachi one and four tells us Edom is that wicked one. Okay, with Isaiah fourteen, the king of Babylon that ruled the earth for the continual stroke, the wicked, was referred to as Lucifer. All right, it has the same mo that Second Thessalonians says he sits as God, he's above God, etc. 
That's his rulership, man. He, in his kingdom, he places himself even above God. That's why he's falling from heaven. Because Lucifer is talking about the elites of Babylon. And we know it's talking about modern Babylon, man. Because ancient Babylon did not get destroyed. But the daughter of Babylon, which is Edom, shall. That's the wicked one. That's the mystery of iniquity. And it's this devil's job to push as much wickedness in the earth. That's why everything about this place is upside down. And to not speak against it is acceptance. To not cry out, all right, is you, is you being in compliance with his wickedness, man. Is you being joined in league with him. And end of the day, you people love it. It said they desire the net of evil men. Hey, this is Proverbs. Twelve and twenty-six. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. So that's just a part of being the wicked. All right, that's seducing spirit. If you smoked weed in the world, if you have a if you had a home that didn't smoke. I bet you know, you look back on it. You used to try to get him to smoke with you, man. Not just once and then like you used to try to do it. Because misery loves company. And that's a low level. You know, that's a lower level. You know, you break one, you break them all. So, but, that, but the scriptures do still classify as sins unto death. So that's a lower level. You know, and, and, and in so many words, lower levels, you know, go off. And look how, <laughs> look how you still have that spirit on you to want to get somebody else to do it too. Now, when you're dealing with Sodom, you're reaching the the one of the, the heights of the height of sin. You're reaching the height of sin. So, how much more is that spirit on you to seduce and deceive? That's why these people are so determined to push it in the schools and in the children, and put it in the books. This place, it's really just vexing. It got to go, man. It got to go, man. This is Romans 1. No, nothing to be left here. Every, three generations from now, everybody be fucking gay, man. All mingled up. This is Romans 1. 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. <clears throat> Even their women did change the natural use of that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of the air which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, the most high gave them up to a reprobate mind to do these things to do those things which are not convenient. Which is the side of me. I mean, it's plainly said it. You know, man with man, woman with woman. All right? That's that burning lust. Side of me means to burn. All right? Being filled with all unrighteousness. That's the height of wickedness, man. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit. Malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God. Despiteful, proud, boasters, inventive evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, natu without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And that's what really struck me. She up there dancing about it, and that's why. She don't have pleasure in just being... What the hell she is, her joy is getting other motherfuckers to join in on her wickedness, man. Or his wickedness. I don't know what the damn thing was. Misery loves company, man. So that's why they pushing that spirit out there more and more. Because they, 
They don't want the right. They don't want to see righteousness, man. They themselves are wicked. So what do they want? Wickedness to flourish. But, brethren, the beautiful part is, with so much, with such a high vibration of wickedness, judgment must come down. What did the Lord, what did the angels say? It's Abraham in Genesis. All right. What chapter is it? I just type it inside them. Make it easy. I was earlier. Here we go. Genesis eighteen. I get to the point. The Lord is finna, you know, bring destruction upon Sodom. He's talking to Abraham and letting him know why. And uh, verse 20. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which is come unto me, and if not, I will know. All right, so the angels be going, they know the angels, they ch chime in, check in, and Give report, however, you know, the Lord got it set up. That's the realm we don't we don't have complete access to right now. But the angels are referred to as the eyes of the Lord. So when, it, when that wickedness reached such a height, hey, the, the Lord gets that notice, man. So the same thing then, <clears throat> hey, it's going to happen now. Just like the flood. It said their hearts were set to do only evil. Well, that's what time we in, which means what? Destruction surely comes. Soon we'll be out of here, man. All right? The Lord is a righteous power. We can't let this wickedness go on for too long. So, I'm ended on this. This is wisdom of Solomon, especially considering that Romans 1 said they didn't retain the most high knowledge. They was going after idolatry, so they reached that point of sodomy. Well, this was wisdom of Solomon 14. 22. Moreover, this is not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. Whereas they lived in a great war of ignorance, those saw great plagues called they peace. Sodomy was a plague. Said the Lord gave them over to vile affections. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifices or used secret ceremonies and made revelings of strange rites, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. But either one slew another treacherously or grieved them by adultery, so that there reigned in all men without exception, blood, manslaughter, theft. So this is what this is what the world is about. All right, what did what did it say in that Romans we read? Filled with all unrighteousness, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men. Yeah, nice guys finish last, forgiveness of good turns, ungrateful. You do something nice to a motherfucker, they'll fuck you over with that back door. Defiling of souls. They want you to be wicked. Changing of kind. Everybody's playing opposite roles. Men becoming women. Women becoming men. Becoming animals. All type of shit, man. There's all their marriages. Well, we know. We see that. <coughs> Adultery and shameless uncleanness. Here's the point. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. So this heightened level of wickedness has a silver lining. The end is coming, brothers. Violence is about to increase. All right. The collapses, the collapse is ready. China uh just bought oil using their currency, man. The, the, the chokehold the U.S. dollar had on the market is slipping away. Israel going at it with, with, the, uh, uh, with the dragons of Arabia, man. 
which at some point, hey, once them they, they unite, hey, I was watching the video or I listened to it at least, and I believe I was watching it too. But uh, I forget what his position was. Uh, was it Egypt? Was he in Egypt? He was one of those neighboring, you know, so-called Arab countries, which means mixed. So it ain't just Ishmael. It's Ishmael. It's Midian. It's uh, Elon. All right. But there's a lot of Ishmael. But nevertheless, one of those neighboring Arab countries. Um, and they was like, well, why don't they just leave? I want basically why won't you you all allow them to, uh, to migrate or whatever? He said, no, that's what they want. He said, if we do that, then they win. Why would they leave? They have their own home. Because at one point early on, they were trying to paint the image. Well, see, Egypt, the Egyptians and these other countries don't want the, them to come to their land. See, they're, they're the problem. And they explained it, no, why we, let, why we help, help them leave and come to our place when they got their own home? So you better believe that they're ready to stand on business, man. When the Lord see fit, and that spirit don't hit their ass, you know, I speak as a man, and they're going to be standing on business against Esau. I say that through the spirit, thinking about that, that second address. The dragon going to get the upper hand. Even they do an Esau move, a financial hitman type shit, man. They got the control of the oil that the rest of the world is relying on. That'll be a huge blow to the U.S. dollar. So soon this shit gonna crack, man. Judgments must come. All right. So just hold on, knock him. Hey, call Halami. How about Shami? How about Shai Shalom?